fishing in the Yakima Canyon right now and I'm on foot. Um, it's late November and I'm swinging streamers. This is one of my favorite ways to fish this river and a lot of other free stones in winter. Uh, I love streamer fishing, I love two-handed casting and this is the best of both worlds right here. Um, and I'm doing it with the Sage 5116-1 switch rod. And at 11 and a half feet, five weight rod, I have not found a switch rod that as good as this, honestly. Um, I have it lined with a 375 grain Skagit Max short from Rio. And I chose that head on this rod because I love, one, I love Skagit style casting. Two, I'm often throwing heavy tips, weighted flies, and tight quarters. Um, right now I'm on a high steep bank and I have a mo tip, it's 10 feet of T8, and a weighted articulated streamer. And this is the kind of water that previously I just couldn't fish by foot with a one-handed rod and a density compensated sink tip or any other shooting head style line with the one-handed rod. Uh, they throw great from boats. They fish well in some spots, but this rod has allowed me to fish every obscure piece of water I really have you know, always wanted to fish by foot. Um, a lot of people line these rods with other heads as well, especially if they're going to overhead cast with them, and, it, and that's what it all boils down to. I've just been strictly Skagit casting with this, and that's why I opted for the Skagit head. Um, the Airflow Scandi Compact is a great head for this rod. It allows you to throw a dry line, throw tips. Um, Airflow makes sinking polyliters that throw well on those rods, um, but they're not the best uh, lines for turning over really heavy tips or bigger flies, period. Um, another reason I line this with the Skagit short. Um, Wolf's ambush style line, great line. It's a one piece line, integrated shooting head. And that is an awesome line for this switch rod. Um, in a lot of other scenarios, you know, lakes, uh, guys on the beach. Um, I've heard of people lining these with outbounds, kind of the same style as a uh, an ambush line, shorter head though, also throws great on the switch rod. But you're kind of, at that point, limited to just overhead casting. Um, but this rod really throws whatever you correctly line, line it with um, amazingly. And I have not found a better rod for doing this style of fishing that I'm doing today. I'm on a high bank with a heavy tip and a heavy bug on foot and you just can't beat the versatility of this rod and what I'm doing with it today being really area specific with it. Um, so Sage 1 51 16, 11 half foot 5 weight. Incredible switch rod, the best one I've found and really versatile. Um, pick up one of these rods, line it correctly and it'll do anything you want it to do um, in any scenario if it's lined correctly. And I'm going to start fishing.